Laffy Taffy, and welcome back to Let's Play Tomb Raider. I have no idea what f***ing part this is. Look at me, I'm already starting to cuss. Haven't even got off to a great start. Great start, you guys. Um, so basically, I am- um, Woo, man, you can really get in there. Woo, you can look right in the window. The camera. Um, so pretty much what happened with my computer is, um, my hard drive basically exploded. Pretty much exploded. I lost everything that was on my hard drive, and um, there's pretty much no way to get it back. By the way, we're in this room. This is the um, Obelisk of Camoon. I think that's how you pronounce it. Camoon. Come at me, bruh. I see him sitting there. Okay, I got the trigger up. You know what? Let's use a shotgun. Just because we haven't used a shotgun very much. We got 37, 37 thingies on it. Die. 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 Thank you. Okay. Um, oh, shit. Well, whatever. All right, let's bring out the pistols again. Um, yeah, health pack. So this is kind of like a little mini maze here. Uh, we've got a room full of blocks, and we got to push the blocks out. And what we're looking for is we're looking for a sapphire key that can open up that door right there. Um, and the key is actually in this last um, block here. But you can open up all these blocks. Um, so that you can, I don't know, discover its secrets. Um, this block goes into the next room here, which basically means that we're gonna have to kill another panther. Uh, which I guess, I mean, if you want the extra kills, I don't really care about the extra kills, but you know what? You guys are watching me here, so I'm going to kill everything, because that's what we do. Come at me, bruh. Come at me, bruh. Come at, come at me, bruh. Thank you. God. I think these panthers actually have a lot more, um, uh, a lot more health compared to the, uh, the lions and stuff from Greece. Is it Greece or Rome? I, th I think it's, it's Rome. I don't know. Cam gets it mixed up a lot. Um, I do believe that this area that I'm pushing open right now is just a interesting little, uh, I guess, item area. Don't really need to go down here, but you know what? That's what we're doing, so we. Okay, run! Right, whoa, I was inside the panther. Wow, that was amazing. Okay, get up, get up, get up. Now murder the bitch. Murder it. And I did just get right out of, um, what is it called? Uh, Outlast. So my language, it has not cooled down. I'm just running around in a circle. Hurry up and die. Thank you. Okay, let's pick this up. I don't think there's anything else down there. Come on, get... Oh. God, I changed my controls. I basically had to, I, I've, I've got a whole brand new computer, brand new hard drives, brand new graphics card, brand new everything. Um, I have, I upgraded to Windows 10, which is, uh, basically old school now. Um, and I'm still kind of getting used to it, but I, I like it so far. I, I, I'm used to, I'm used to Windows 7, so. Well, it's, it's, it's interesting. It's, it's, it's. <sighs> So how have you guys been? I had no, I haven't been on YouTube in forever. And by the time I get this uploaded, it's already, I'm already pretty much gonna have videos going again. Um, I'm trying to decide what the hell I'm gonna do with the, what the f no. So I'm supposed to be giving you guys a walkthrough, and I'm doing this. I missed the freaking stupid thing that was right here, right in front of me. Why didn't you guys tell me? Ah. But anyways, um, I lost, um, I think it's, uh, episode 19 of, or, no, I think it's episode 8, 20 of Out, uh, not Outlast, uh, Alien Isolation. Um, because it was my, uh, primary hard drive on my computer that crashed, and basically what I was doing is I was rendering videos on my primary hard drive and then make, uh, sending them over to my secondary hard drive as storage. But, um, in the process of that, um, I basically lost, um, one video. I've got, uh, Dead Space pretty much done. It's, it's done and finished and all rendered and beautiful and yay. Um, I have to upload that soon. Okay, I think we're on our last block here. But, yeah. So, the last, uh... I think episode 20 of, um, Alien Isolation is not going to be blind. Actually, sh you know, it'll be fairly blind because I haven't played it in so damn long that I don't really remember what it was. So it'll basically be semi-blind. Die, bitch! 
Uh, is it really worth killing this thing? It's gonna take forever. Oh, well, he's in a good spot. Why do you only shoot with one pistol? Okay, screw this. Let's go into the water. Uh, the jeweled uh, thingy is... Oh my god, really? Why are these things so fast? Ah, gimme, 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 gimme. Okay, I know that there's this health pack here. And there's also a set of magnum clips that I cannot, for the life of me, find. Um, I looked for it on my last run through, and I just, I don't know. They're in here somewhere. If you want them, go get them. I'm not getting them. I'm getting out of this water. Alright, so we got our um, uh, key, which we will use to not jump up in the air pointlessly, but to actually open up that other door that we couldn't go through. And that's actually going to take us to the obelisk. The obelisk of Camoon. I didn't like this level in the animated... I don't, you know, or, or in the anniversary. It's kind of... I, I find it to be kind of boring, and it's really irritating, because um, there's so many damn... Oh, never mind, I'm a fucking idiot. It opens up this. How the fuck did I think it would open up that? Oh, it did. Oh, it opened up both. I'm a retard. Well, we're going to go through here first, and then we'll go through that door later, just because um, this is actually going to take us to the top of the obelisk, and we can get to that anyways um, later. In fact, that door up on top there is actually pretty useless. You really don't need to go through there. So we're going to pick up the shotgun shells. We're going to head down this way, and we're going to murder some things, I think. Is it in this area? Yeah, it's in this area. We're gonna murder some things. We're gonna murder that. Which is gonna- oh god. There's two of them. Great! I always find it sad that the animals in Tomb Raider can't- Whoa! He f***ing flew! They can't, uh, climb up blocks. I mean, you'd think that a panther would be able to climb up, like, a little two-foot high thing. But I guess not. Okay, you know what? Screw this. Let's take you on. Die! Yeah, you die. Okay, and now we do platforming madness. Now, up there, through those uh, sort of... Ah, uh, it's kind of hard to point out from here. But there's actually a little area through there that you can go into, but it just drops down into a pit with mummies. Uh, I guess I'll show you guys. This is a walkthrough, anyways. This is a poor excuse of a walkthrough. Why am I doing this? This is... that. This annoys even me. You guys are awesome. You guys who watch me. And you actually pay attention to my stuff. You know more than I do. You guys are the real heroes. You guys are the real walkthroughers. Alright, well, let's just, uh... Let's just go through here. And what's kind of funny is that if you come down here... I think you're pretty much fine. And we got these two mummies here. And they're not activated. The only way that you can activate them is if you come down this slide, or this slope right here. And you know what? I don't really feel like doing it. So let's go ahead and just get the hell out of here. Oh crap, I should have jumped on the other side. Whatever! Let's, 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 let's come over here. Okay, now if I'm really good, I can make this jump. And I'm not. Oh well. Well, you know what? All I can do is try. Okay, let's climb up here. And platforming madness! That's what I get for thinking that I know this game better than I think I do. Alright, let's climb up here. I think I'm gonna pull the shotgun out because there's this son of a bitch up here. He's gonna scare the living shit out of me. God, I remember when I was a kid. I played this for the first time. Oh, he scared the shit out of me. I mean, those things are really freaky. I mean, compared to the mummies that are in the, uh, the, the anniversary. You can also go down there. That takes you down a different slope. But we're not gonna go down there yet because we gotta grab a few secrets. No, those things are pretty freaky. They did a good job. I mean, in this case, uh, simpler is better. Simpler is much, much better. I mean, when you go overboard with stuff, I mean, 
Like, Dead Space, Dead Space goes overboard. It tries to be scary by throwing shit in your face. And you know what? It is scary at first. It's scary because you just don't get a break. It's, it's scary as in stressful scary. It really wouldn't matter if they were giant rabbits. As long as they are screaming and coming at your face and you just are going wave after wave of bunny, like killer bunny, then yeah, it'd be scary. But because it's a... Uh, I mean, I guess I guess Dead Space just kind of tries too hard. And I'm totally just walking around randomly. The, look, look, here's a secret. We're about to get a secret. So this is where you get the secret. This is secret number one. And I'm trying to do this in the uh, order that I think is most efficient. Ha, me, efficiency. So this is one, um, one of the secrets, obviously on top of the uh, obelisk. And the second secret is actually right over there. So you can pretty much jump from secret to secret. It's kind of a jump. It's scary as hell at first, but you know what? It's actually kind of neat. So that gives us this. Let's go ahead and pick that up. And what we're actually doing, I guess I should explain the goal of the level. Goal of the level is to get all four of these uh, um, uh, bridges. All four of these bridges down. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to come up here and... Pull this lever. Now this lever, I think, actually activates something in the second room. And in, in uh, this room to the, our left here. Yes, there's actually a room to the left. Through that doorway there. But we're not going to go in there yet. Um, we're going to head through here. And we're actually going to pick up the third and final secret in this room. And this room <laughs> is so much more mellow compared to Tomb Raider Anniversary. This room is such a pain in the ass. This this room in Tomb Raider Anniversary will be the most complicated, difficult room to navigate through. Especially if you're going for all the secrets. I don't think I have ever gotten the secrets in Tomb Raider Anniversary the way that you're supposed to. Because I've always just had to basically glitch the system in order to get them. Because to do it the way that the game actually wants you to is way too fucking hard. It's stupidly hard. Okay, let's go ahead and pick up this final secret here. So that'd be three secrets. So you can actually get all these secrets done pretty quick. Pick it up. Thank you. All right, and this secret is actually, uh, it's not done with. There's a little, little platforming section over here. Uh, and if I think I'm smart, I can actually do this like a pro. There we go. Yay, I'm a pro. I'm a pro. I should be a pro. Not too much of a pro, though. Oh, I would love to be a pro-awesome speedrunner of this game. Like, glitchless speedrunning. But I'm not that pro. I don't know how people do that. I mean, I feel like... I feel like in order to speedrun... I mean, you would... Like, as much as I have played these games, and as much as I have played, like, Tomb Raider 3... I mean, holy sh**. I could not speed run at all, even though I've played it so many times I could basically play it in my sleep. I wonder how people actually practice that sort of thing. I think what they actually do is they actually collaborate. They, uh, they watch other YouTube videos and they actually research the certain glitches and, uh, certain jumps and stuff like that. Um, I highly doubt there's any, uh, speedrunner that has figured out everything on their own. Or at least a very effective speedrunner. If there is, they are probably awesome. Alright. And as you might guess, there are um, mummies in those little rooms there. I guess those are supposed to be actual tombs. There's actual tombs in Tomb Raider, you guys. And they're not actually going to come out. This is kind of interesting. They're not actually going to come out until my feet actually touch the ground. Which is very frightening because usually what happens your um your shadow Lara's shadow is actually supposed to sort of be um like basically her standing zone it's it's sort of her her placeholder so where her shadow is is where things are actually going to be triggered or at least that that's how it is in the other games i'm not entirely sure if that's actually how it works in this game so it's actually kind of interesting that these guys don't run out as soon as you kind of dangle off the edge. But in order to get back, um, we have to jump over to here. And if I'm professional at this, let's see how professional I am. Not very, apparently. Oh well. Not the end of the world. 
Let's get the hell out of here before these guys murder us. I mean, this game came at, I think this game came out in 1993. How can you tell me that that is not just scary as all fuck? That's creepy! Especially when you can't see them? It's just creepy! I mean, especially, you can't even tell what they are. I mean, I guess the only way that I ever really knew what these things were is from Tomb Raider Anniversary, which I guess they're supposed to be, um, mummified cats. But, you know, with these low graphics, they just look like mummified fuck up, fucked up people. For all I know. Um, I do a lot of editing in this, 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 uh, this Let's Play. All right, let's go ahead and pick this up. Yay! We got it! And, um, I don't know if you've had a chance to take a good look at those little, uh, objects that are at the end of the, um, end of the bridges. Um, but if you look at them carefully, you may recognize the shapes of them and where we might actually be placing them later. Uh, might as well pick this one up. Oh, shit! Fuck me! Well, you know what? It wouldn't be a let's play without a couple of few unfortunate mishaps here and there. Alright, let's go ahead and pick this thing up. I think this is called an Ankh. I mean, do these things actually have names? Do they have names? Yeah, Ankh. Scarab. I'm not entirely sure if that's its actual name, an Ankh. But that's what I've always called it. And these things show up everywhere. I wonder what that symbol actually is in Egyptian, Egyptian, um, Egyptian history. So that's actually, this le that lever that we pulled out there actually fixed this right here. So we can actually climb to the top of that and it will take us over there. But I think what we're gonna do first is we're actually going to slide down this slope here. So let's do it. Get out our shotgun, obviously, because of course we've got some cats to kill. We have to kill everything. Those are the rules. Would you die? Thank you. All right. And I do believe there is a thing over here. Let's go ahead and pick that up. Yay! That's one thing I haven't been using. I haven't been using the, um, the, 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 the magnums. Technically, they're automatic pistols, but we call them magnums. Because, of course, magnums are black. And they sound like, like, I don't know, ceramic plates knocking together. Um, let's see, did I grab that? I think there's a thing over here. Oh, nope, didn't grab it. In fact, I guess I should check right now. I'm not entirely sure how many, um, how many bullets these things give you per, uh, per pickup. Pick it up! It was right there! So 33. 35, yeah, I guess I, I guess it is two per thing you pick up, which is honestly a pain in the ass. <gasps> oh, no! We gotta go back outside and pull the lever. Okay, well, you know what? You know. Well, we're gonna climb up to the top here. Actually, I think you can climb up to the top and pull that lever. This, this thing, this is so confusing. This is a very confusing level. It's one of the most confusing levels that I've ever played. <laughs> Knowing what levers pull what, everything does something different and oh my gosh. When I, when I did my test run of this game, I got, s or this level, I got incredibly lost. I had to go, actually, I had to go look but guide. It was like, wow, what the frick? All right, let's jump over here, grab onto this and this. Whew, I remember when I first played this game, I was like, wow, don't let go. Whatever you do, don't let go. And then I was impressed by this giant freaking block of gold. I mean, look at this thing. Why doesn't Lara just, like, break that thing off and take it home? She would never have to work again. She would never have to do anything again. She could do that right now and she would still not have to do anything again. She's freaking rich. I guess it's nice when you have rich parents that are dead. You get all their money. That probably offended a lot of people. God damn it. I'm so horrible. I'm a horrible person. Although, you know, I guess if, if you don't mean to sound offensive, does that make you a horrible person? I mean, it's, it's, oh, shit, die, die. Please, don't, okay, don't explode in my face. See, like, something like that. How the hell am I supposed to know that when I, when it comes out of my mouth like that, it's gonna sound totally sexual. 
I should just stop talking. Oh, okay, you can open up this lever. It's gonna take you, actually, it's gonna take you right back out in this room, um, where we were supposed, to, where we went and got the secrets. So there's that hole in the ground, and then there's the stairs that take you back down to that lever where you can jump on top of the, the, the pillar. But we don't need to go there now. I'm gonna pull this, that's going to drop that bridge. And then we just have one more that we need to, uh, to, one more bridge that we need to drop. Which is actually, um, actually, yeah, we can get there from here. All right, now, you cannot stand at the top of this and not do a swan dive. I mean, come on! It's perfect. Beautiful swan dive. As long as you don't hit anything solid at the bottom. And that was scary. Who the hell was that? Just what I like to hear is I'm doing a swan dive. Oh, he's, uh, he's actually up there. Okay. I was like, who the hell did I miss? Okay, well, we're actually gonna head back out here. I don't know how I triggered that guy. Well, he's gonna make some creepy noises until we get up there and kill his ass. So now what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna pull one of the blocks over here and we're gonna get up into that um, gold, that, that gold door. Oh my god, pull the damn thing! Oh my god, editing this is gonna be a nightmare. Ah, I can't complain. You know, there's some people that do this there every single day as a job. Wow. Exploded in my face, but I oh no, I'm gonna have to heal. Damn it! I gotta fight a couple more of these guys before the end of the end of the level. And this is our last lever. That's going to drop down the last bridge, and now we've got all of our little little the thingy things. That we have to do something with that we don't know yet. Pick it up! Obviously, it's supposed to open that door in case you haven't noticed by now. Alright, let's go ahead and pick up our last little, uh, little thing here. How did I miss this? Oh, because I died and I forgot to pick it up again, I think. Oh, well. You guys didn't see that, though. Okay, we're gonna drop back down here. And we're actually gonna go through that, uh, door that just opened up. Well, it's right here. I think there's actually a... Nope, there isn't. Okay, I'm gonna save here. And the reason that you want to save is because this is kind of a long swim. And it's not only a long swim... Or... Bleh, it's not only a long swim, but there's a couple of items down here that you can pick up along the way. And it's not incredibly obvious where they are. So most likely, it's you're gonna have to take a little bit looking around. And she's gonna get her face caught on everything. Great. I'm not entirely sure why in the PC version of this game her, um, uh, directional, like, handling underwater is just so sharp. I mean, it doesn't really take much to get her to turn. Alright, this is where it gets, gets, gets intense. And she's stuck. Okay, come on. Get over there. You're gonna drown! There. Awesome! And we've got a mummy waiting for us. Congratulations! You know what th those mummies kind of reminded me of? Kind of reminded me of, like, jelly donuts with the jelly kind of, like, leaking out of it. It's kind of gross. That's sort of why I've never really liked jelly donuts. I feel like... For one, I feel like donuts are supposed to be dry, and also, it's just kind of gross. Makes me feel like I'm eating something living. I mean, technically- Balls! I mean, technically, it- well, part of its life, as the explosions go away, part of a donut's life is alive because it's got yeast in it, and yeast is alive. <laughs> yeast just for making the dough rise. So these happy little critter, critter bacterias are like, woo, we're gonna thrive in this environment. It's so nice. We're gonna, we're gonna expand this dough and we're going to live happily. And then it gets thrown in an oven and then all the little bacterias are like, oh, we're dying and then it dies and then we eat it and something had to die for us to enjoy it. And if that doesn't look familiar, then you haven't been paying attention. Let's head up over here. Where we'll kill another one of these guys. God, these guys are everywhere in this game. All right.
right, he's dead. I think there's a couple of little pick-me-up items here. Here we go. All right, we are getting to the end of this level. God, half hour. Jesus. These games are so long. Oh, shit. Of course, it'd be a lot shorter if I didn't make so many damn mistakes. All right, let's head up here. Yay. We're free. And look where we are, people. We are back in the first level. Whoa! All right, I totally didn't do this on my last run, but we're gonna explore this a little bit and see if anything's changed. I highly doubt it has. Maybe there's like a little, I don't know. Maybe there's something we can pick up over here. What did I tell you guys? Always look behind the Sphinx. Always look, except in this case, apparently. Always look behind the statues because there is always something there, except in this case. All right, so now we can actually use this pillar that we saw in the last, uh, last, uh, last level. And of course, the camera's gonna show us this again, just to make sure that you absolutely know what it's for. I mean, considering that there's really nowhere else to go and there's a big pair of doors over there that are hard to miss and there's nowhere else that we've really been, I feel like this is a little unnecessary. But who am I to complain? I'm no game designer. I would love to design a game though. I would love to be like the person who designs the textures and stuff like that or designs like the characters and things. And something I've been trying to talk my brother into doing, he needs to be a goddamn concept artist. It makes so much money! And people need concept artists! All right, we're going in. I'm going in! Look at those palm trees! Oh, they're beautiful. And we're done. Time taken, 28 minutes. Hopefully this video isn't going to be that long because I fuck up so much. But you know what? We'll do the next episode in the next, or next, level in the next episode thanks you guys for watching